Okay, now listen here, chumps. You may think you know what peak Yu-Gi-Oh deck building is. You know, that Tri-Brigade deck you saw in the remote duel extravaganza, or the Drytron one that curb stomped everyone at your locals. Well, listen up. This, this is what peak deck building looks like. You may not enjoy it, but this is what the best performance of this card game looks like. And I'm talking about my four-year-old 144p fluffle deck profile, baby. Specifically non-competitive, because I was getting rampant dislikes. Let's go! Okay, these things are incredibly uncomfortable. I need to take them off. Anyways, how's it going everybody? It's Aurora YGO here, and I'm coming at you with a reaction to my very first deck profile. This was four years ago. I was an eighth grader. I'm a senior now, about almost, already almost over my first semester. That's kind of crazy. Um, and I just want to show you how bad I was at the game at the time, and also the lack of access I had to cards, and also my uh, recording quality. I made this with my grandpa's camcorder on the floor. Uh, I remember that specifically. I was in the corner of my room, and my grandpa's camcorder, you know, bless his heart, it, it, was, it, was, it was good for the time, but like the max it records in if I do updated quality is like 480p. That's how I recorded my old uh, duels with and everything. But, uh, I was really bad at editing, believe it or not, so, and I was finally stopping using Windows Movie Maker, I think, so, yeah, 144p is the highest quality this thing goes, but yeah, this is a Fluffle deck profile, it is the first deck I ever finished building, and it is still one of my favorite decks ever, uh, one of my most recent videos right now is my, like, thousand plus view Fluffle deck profile, and we got the beautiful deck here. God, I love this deck so much. It's so cool. I might go back to playing it uh, after I'm done messing around with Lyraless. Or maybe, uh, maybe I'll play it next week if I go to Locals. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, today we're going to be reacting to the video. And we're just going to see how bad and cringy it is. It's probably going to sound really bad. I was a squeaker back then. I'm still kind of a squeaker now, but like it was really bad. So let's go ahead and uh, listen. Let's see. Um, hello everyone, this is Delta, the team leader for Team Aurora. Alright, okay, we're only seven seconds in and I'm already gonna vomit. So not only was the, the camera quality bad, but the camera was also the thing picking up the audio, and so it sounded like I was speaking out of a toilet bowl. And also, this is back when it was Team Aurora. The entire point of the channel was that it was like a team, it was me, uh, my friend Chris, who you might see on here soon with his uh, Pure Drytron list, which is really funny. Um, you know, I didn't I didn't even know Javon at this point. Uh, and then it was like a bunch of other kids from school that no longer even play Yu-Gi-Oh, which is hilarious to me. Sorry if you hear that, I'm just kind of wiping some dust off my monitor. Uh, so it was, it was, the entire point was that it was a team. We made this team because we saw, who is the people that do like their little friendly tournaments? I, I don't know, man. Like, I think they have a really weird name, but like it's a bunch of like little chibi faces as like their uh, their names and everything, and they do duels together in like little tournaments. I think they did Scrub League or something, and so uh, I made up the Aurora League, and then I ended up making a channel based off of that, and so that was the entire point of the channel at first, and now look at me, all alone sitting in my room looking at 144p video i can't get over the fact how bad this looks i remember there was so many comments that i think i ended up deleting it was just like bro this looks like it was filmed with a potato out in the remote alaska with no signal <laughs> it was so good but all right let, let's keep going let's keep going i can't just and, keep it um, paused the entire time for um tonight i should say two minutes freaking one o'clock in the morning 12 58 it was one in the morning jesus um, christ i would like to show you all the fluffle deck profile also, look at the Seal of Ork Calcos, uh, Matt. It was my cardboard one. It was before I got first, a rubber mat. Um, Chrome League. Well, the Chrome League, uh, I'm not sorry, not the Aurora League. Or the second Chrome League, because they were both prototype Chrome Leagues. Oh my god, Chrome League. And also the second League. one I thought it was have Aurora much League, turnout, Because the other members, uh, I believe, uh, one of them did, never brought her deck um, for the entirety of the Chrome League Oh my League god, week. fucking Alyssa. <laughs> Um, She's all on this channel too, by the way. So. It was just like really slow and really awkward, so that's why we didn't record that one. But and also because be we didn't record, record shit at school anyway. Any of the other Chrome leagues? Um, yeah, this actually start placing deck cards down. Profile is okay. probably not the one you would uh, 
kind of want to copy because <laughs> it's not um, fully complete. Yeah, no, I should have outright said, uh, yeah, chunks of combo D this deck is or, really or bad. Cards that are Do missing. not copy it. At least Too I was honest. Combos. Uh, I want to tell you now that fluffles are not video. meta, um, <laughs> nor will they probably ever be meta. Aww. They're just uh, decent at stopping some rogue decks. And Even by rogue, I, I mean like, probably all the ones at school because everyone feels the need to team up against me when I use this deck. Oh, yeah, dude. Like my... All right, so you guys have no idea, but this it was so hilarious. In school, they would, like, I was so fucking good with Fluffle. It was so oppressive to everybody. Sorry, I keep swiping notifications on my phone. But it was so oppressive that I'd, they'd feel the need to, like, do a 3 or 4v1 against me. And I still won every single time. Yeah, I was, I was like, the best player there. <laughs> oh, my Main. God. Good but, memories, um, dude. To start Good the memories. deck off with the um, Fluffle Monster lineup, I run one Fluffle Bear. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Fluffle Bear. <laughs> this looks exactly like a Fluffle Bear, folks. <laughs> oh my god. Also, one bear. Shame. No, no one bear. Only just run close three. to run two, maybe three. But uh, this is my actually my first fluffle I ever got. It was the first fluffle and I ever I got. And I only have one copy because I, I feel like I always am getting my toy bear vendors together for my friend. Uh, back easily. And also I have another card later that lets me get Polly back from the graveyard. So bear isn't needed as much for that. Oh god, I sound like uh, one fluffle Leo. First deck for, for, for um, file. decent attack, but he's absolutely Leo. terrible. The worst fluffle uh, of all by far. And you can go into rank fours with him. But I uh, run a pure Fright Fruit uh, extra deck. Dude, it's just a yellow um, blob. And so he will be replaced soon by Fluffle Wings, as well as another card. I didn't have wings. Because uh, I'm going to get two copies of Fluffle Wings. I was playing Wings. Uh, two copies or of Dog. I wish I had wings? three so much, but I only have two. Uh, oh Amazing God. Searcher <laughs> searches any Fluffle or Edge of Sabers. Uh, um, really, uh, rank four plays if you uh, want to run Mixie's engine. Honestly, I have to tell my hate seeing dog now because I'm drawn after I already use effect, and I'm so like, first turn beater if you need it. He has a pretty and good so beater. Overall, actually, overall, dog attack. is an amazing card that I a, uh, you should run at three. It, should, it has to be someone from the hand, by Level the way. To Owl, another sucks. card you should normally run at two or three. Uh, summon no! it. You fetch a Polly from your oh deck. Oh my god! And uh, you can also pay 500 life points for this card Dude, to basically be a Polly. Card, you should probably run uh, you don't need to tribute this card so or anything like though, or use this card for fusion summon. Um, Where did so I get my that's uh, really good deck in case from. you need to but get I make it up your or Polly's like, or your out of Polly's and do not have factory. I don't like your hand. videos anymore. The two uh, casual. Uh, two copies of Fluffle Cat. Two. These are I run just because of the Fluffle name, obviously. And also because they fetch Polly back from the graveyard, so you can um. I still actually really like cat. Do using I still play cat? say Fluffle Cat and Edge of I Sabers I do. to I don't know like yeah just say like use Cat um. You know I don't run Cat anymore unfortunately. Chain boom you, no make, you make to. a sheep. Uh, that like polymerization that you use to some to fusion summon, anymore, so. to a summon sheep can be immediately brought back to your hand with Cat's. It's effect, probably so. the easiest one That's to why make it's out a what really it is. Good card. I uh, used to run like three. I have like so many copies of it. I do have, I I have so many copies of Rabbit and Cat, dude. Kind of it's crazy. Oh my god. I run dog two copies of Fluffle Rabbit. Again, used to run at three, but then it got two Claudia. Um, I like uh, especially making a Sabertooth because I can use Polly. Say I have like, I don't know, Bear on the field, which I highly like, Fright for Bear, which I highly this ever fucking... use at all. What's this which combo? Is my first so it means a lot to me. Um, say you fuse bear, rabbit, and cat with polymerization. Bear, rabbit, cat and adds cat. poly, and then rabbit allows you to add edge of sabers or any fluffle back from your graveyard to your hand, so you can fetch that cat back as well for later uses. So that's not really the same good. Turn though, five head. Uh, sheep. Normally should run two or three. I have one. And uh, when I say have, I mean sheep. I only own one. But, um, I mean, the summon isn't a really once good. per turn, but... First turn what search with fuck? dog if you have a edge imp in your hand. Or second turn if you have an edge imp in your graveyard or anything. Because you can bounce dog back to your hand and summon, uh, special summon, the edge imp. I'm gonna cry, can, dude. And it, has, it can be any edge imp instead of sabers, which is really good. And so, that's the reason that it's really good. Oh, yeah, it's not uh, just sabers anymore because it came out with chain. penguin. The one uh, penguin. Mostly it's the draw engine of the deck, and also once per, um, during your main phase, once per duel, you can uh, die, special summon a fluffle monster from your hand. The one penguin. So, uh, I think I pulled I this from a pack, too. Um, I think 
So the reason I had like two dog, right? I think this was when I started like fucking full ham buying fusion enforcers packs. Like desperately getting as many fluffle cards as possible. Uh, a fright for cards too, especially Kraken. Like dude, okay. No snitching, okay. No, snitches get stitches, but uh, like so I, I'd been buying a bunch of fusion enforcers packs, right? Uh, and either before I started doing that or during like the, my big spree of buying them, but I didn't have like the opportunity to get any. I was at Walmart and I like, you know, uh, individual boosters are like in that cardboard, right? So I stood there and no nobody else was around. So I was like, boop, let me just uh, put put the the fucking foil pack in my pocket, right? And so uh, I, I got it out of the cardboard. I put the, the foil pack in my pocket and I fucking I walked out with it and I went home. I sat at my desk. I opened it and I pulled Kraken, which was like the one card I had been pining after. It took me everything not to scream. I still have that Kraken, actually. Which one is it? I know I bought one online uh, later, but I think it's this one because this one looks a bit more beat up, but mwah. thank you, Stolen Kraken. <laughs> no, dude, I, once I got Kraken, it was so hard for people to beat me. It was actually crazy. I don't even know if Kraken's in this deck list now that I think about it. So I don't know when it's summon another I have no penguin. Yeah, I got like uh, most go of my shiny fluffle cards from like that spree of opening now, fusion enforcers. Until I get any more penguins. Uh, but yeah, and then also I still need draw to get one more. I only play two. If it's used for a fright for fusion summon, you draw two cards and discard one. So it's like graceful charity, except you get one less card out of it. It's like graceful charity, uh, except you get one less card out of it. Two item chains. Normally you should run three. I have two. You should not run three. You uh, should play attacks, fucking. Actually, never mind. That's chain, not saber. Back then. Chain you add another edge of chain to your hand, and then when it's sent to I the graveyard, sabers, no matter like, what, you get to add a freight for card, any freight for card from your deck yeah, to your hand, which could be fusion, I actually factory, run two chain now, so that's really funny. Are those commons? Sanctuary, I can't tell if those are my supers or my um, commons, because I had both. Uh, and also, I walk away to do it's a good a first there. turn uh, face down. You put it down, your opponent doesn't know what it is, it's it got a, good, a nice, decent 1800 wall for uh, You get your fucking four. Fright for Fusion, baby. So, there, there, it basically searches out your fusions most of the time you'll be looking for, or maybe a factory. Oh, yeah, I still played factory. Two Legend Sabers, never run three, it gets way too cloggy. Finally. And you can just never bring it back three. by placing a, uh, from your graveyard by placing a card on top of your deck. Edge of Sabers can be used for any of the plays, uh, including... Any of the Saber plays, tooth, including Kraken, Sheep Guys. Daredevil... Oh my god, um, I tiger, still played Daredevil. You need it. Okay, so I did have Kraken uh, Wolf, then. You but need I also it, had Daredevil. And bear, you need it. That's crazy. So you need it for a few and can use it for other ones. So, um. Yeah, Daredevil. I actually sold my Daredevil. Use of my, Edgem Sabers. Da, 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 da. I actually sold my Daredevil a few months ago. Um, two copies of Edgem Sop. Sop? Uh, this hack card actually isn't used Edgem very much, Sop? and I don't understand why. I don't um, not understand. Not only do I why. have to it's use it for Leo, shit. but also. Uh, you normal so summon it, bad. Uh, discard a Fluffle Monster from your oh hand, God. you can draw two cards and then place one card from your hand on either the top yeah, or the bottom of your deck. you have to use it for Leo. Yeah, Kraken so, literally yeah, power crept Leo. It's a draw engine. There's my um, dog again. But also it can be used for, uh, like, stuff like Kraken or Daredevil or Reef and Sabertooth. Or you can just not play it. Uh, one Tomahawk, you can get some nasty burn damage in, or you can, um, nasty burn use damage effect, in an OTK uh, deck. send Chain to the Graveyard. Oh uh, my use god. Use Chain's effect from that, and also you got a free edge Wait. Yard. Uh, use Chain's Wait. effect, uh, send Chain to the graveyard. Uh, use Chain's effect from that. And Tomahawk sends from deck, right? You can't trigger Chain if you send it from deck. Otherwise, there'd be a lot more decks playing Foolish Burial in, in, uh, in fucking Fluffle. Uh, if Chain only triggers if you send it from hand or field, so I definitely cheated back then. And That's also, you got a free hilarious. edge imp chain on the field. That's for actually something hilarious. Like um, sheep, and also it's got something a nice like eighteen hundred attack. So it was so sad when I cut that. sheep. I love sheep. It's so funny. And then the last three monsters aren't fluffles or edge imps. They are King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp. Dump them for Polly, and he's any fusion material. Before fright for Patch. Uh, Dark hex sealed fusion. Dark hex uh, sealed fusion. <laughs> Oh my god! Isn't that the card that says it can be used for any fucking dark fusion material or whatever, and if it's on the field, you can fuse using stuff on field? The, oh my god, dark hex fusion. 
I think it was because I only had one King of the Swamp at the time. I think in one of the comments under this video, I said, yeah, I picked up more copies of King of the Swamp. Because Dark Hex Sealed Fusion is so bad. Wait, don't tell me the third card's Fusion Parasite. Fusion material, and also you can special summon a uh, Dark Fusion monster. Please don't tell me the last deck, card's Fusion and Parasite. Fusion Parasite, if you um, use any material, and if you special summon him, you can Fusion Summon using monsters you control, including this card. And so, um, I don't know why I don't see- I why not many people run Parasite. Uh, I don't I've seen know. people run Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. I don't know why people don't play Parasite. I, I don't know why people don't play the thing that you have to get on the field and then Fusion Summon using it and other things as materials in order to actually use it. I don't get why people don't play that. And it's a level 1, so you can't even make good Xyz monsters with it, especially at the time. Don't know, dude. Fusion Hexor himself and uh, Dual Generations runs Dark Hexil Fusion. Dual Generations? Is that a fucking channel? I don't even remember. But uh, that is it for the monster lineup. Ooh, onto the spicy back Did I have uh, three next, toy vendor? Three copies of Polymerization. Obviously, poly. it's a fusion based deck. You will need three copies. Mm, yeah. Um, I don't know yeah, if I play so three anymore. I don't I, really need to explain that. You can cut it down to two, actually, now. Oh, shit. My bad. Three copies of Toy Vendor. There we Okay, I do uh, have three copies. Discard one card, like, draw one card, reveal snap. it. If you control the monster, you can add it to your hand and switch the monster clean. from your hand. Uh, I think those are my not, shiny uh, ones say too. It's like chain or something. You, that you I must discard own. the card if it's not a fluffle monster. At first, monster. I hated the super rares. Dude. Uh, you can they look like mustard uh, chain. But now I really like shiny um, cards. Or so. heck, another toy vendor chain will let you search a fright for card. But uh, my favorite thing is getting a toy vendor and then discarding toy vendor either by discarding it and with then the, the first top effect cards, or drawing it from toy vendor and then having to discard it. Because when this card leaves the, um, I believe if it. I remember, I think a total of three times against my friends, I would activate toy vendor pitch toy vendor and then the card ended up being sent was toy vendor and i think i'm doing that twice competitively and it's so fucking stupid it's yeah it's, it's just a free fucking at all. plus one you can add edge of sabers or any fluffle from your deck there's one thing this deck can do dog or whatever for no reason which is really good that's why you need draw if you want to stop fusion it fusion conscription basically a uh, spell version of fusion, fusion reserve, reserve except you don't get poly back uh you cannot summon monsters with the name of the monster you added and also, uh, you can get cards from your graveyard as well. So, say you have a uh, Fright for Monster in your hmm. graveyard, you can uh, reveal Sabretooth, and then uh, add that Fright for Monster back to your extra oh, deck. One of my friends are nice. on Discord. Um, How, is Fusion Conscription even bad? Like, I'm pretty sure it's just a better Fusion Reserve. Like, it's a free search and everything. Like, obviously, we don't play it anymore, but... Reveal a fusion in your extra deck and add one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on that card from deck or grave to hand. And if you do, you cannot normal with someone set or special monster with the added monster's name, and your monsters with that name cannot activate your, the, their effects, and it's a hard ones per turn. I mean, back then, that's not terrible. I think I'd just play it because I pulled it out of Fusion Enforcers. The one I looked at was from Fusion Enforcers, but... Two copies That's of MST. Terrible for adding sabers at the time. Removal, Two MST. That. Does it negate though? Uh, Dark Hole. I do not own Regeki. I only have Dark Hole. Dark Hole's uh, not even with bad. Dark Hole being recently limited, I can only oh, run yeah, one. Oh yeah, that was when it was limited again. So yeah, I got one copy. And then I got of Dark like semi limited. I and then didn't have this during the back first to one, League, I think. but I added it uh, afterwards because I was noticing that the opponent's field was getting swarmed with monsters and I couldn't rely on my single Fright for Tiger to destroy them all. Yeah, like Dark Hole was actually really good. Yeah, it was. It was literally just. I always wanted to go second anyway, so I, so I could get the free draw and also OTK. So I'd be like Dark Hole. None of my friends had protection on their things. They'd have to rely on battle traps after that. And then I just, even if they had battle traps, I'd be like, all right, summon Tiger, blow up your entire back row, uh, go for game. It's weird that I called it back row. So like, it says non-competitive, right? But you can tell I was trying to get into competitive because I remember. I was like arguing with my friends. I was like, guys, your deck lists are dog shit. What what happens if you go against Chainburn, bro? You're gonna lose. Like that that was my my biggest thing. It was just like cause Chainburn was like really big at the time. It won like the 2017 Worlds, I think. Or it was in like the top. And so I was like, I was so focused on playing against meta, even though we had no one playing meta there, and I had yet to go to a tournament for another like year after that. Uh copy of factory. Infinite poly, basically, Infinite if you have, yeah. um, I mean, Factory was really cool. Fusion spell cards or really polymerization really like in your graveyard, except for the Fusion Motion, because, uh, It's gonna yeah. be a long video. There's that, so... And also, if it's destroyed, you can target you can a Banished Prey for the Fusion. Other. There's Wolf's Tail, there's hand, a Bear with the, the Sabers. That's so fucking uh, hard Copy of Fright for Reborn. 
Moss Reborn for oh, Fright shit. Birds, which is I really good Fright because Moss Reborn was recently banned, which I, I recently uh, sold that as well. Actually, really retarded. You know that bitch goes for also, like seven dollars or Octo more. Also, as crazy. well, which I do not have. Even though it's bad. Um, you can banish this card, target a banish Fluffle or Fright for Monster, and add it back to your graveyard. I uh, just so, use Octo for that. Rebirth. Another card I'll be getting rid of soon. Yeah, Target a Fluffle or Fright Monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but its effects are negated. That is why I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, so like, I think this is back when Monster Reborn was still banned. And so, like, I don't know. Unless I show a Monster Reborn negation. here. It's not always helpful unless you like want to make like, a really quick Sabertooth. Cards, I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry I keep pausing it, but like, I remember um, I first started getting more Fluffle cards, right, from my friend Elijah. Who I never uh, got to show on this channel anymore because he got out of Yu-Gi-Oh and we don't talk anymore. But um, basically, he, I was looking through a stack of like his bulk, and I got Suture Rebirth, I got like a toy vendor, I got like a saw and everything like that. And I all like I got a few more uh, Fluffle cards, um, including like Designer Fright for. Do I play Designer Fright for? That'd be so funny. But uh, I remember I got my first Shadal monsters from that too that I also played in Fluffle. I got one Hedgehog and one Shekinaga. And I used that one Shekinaga for ages until I got rid of it like two years ago. Um, and like I used it in my Shadal Dino and everything. It was so funny. And have a Fright for so beat up, poor baby. It was a um, secret rare But too. mostly the Fright Furs rely on their effects, so it's not too good. So when I get wings, I will just definitely take that card out. Uh, Flash Fusion. Flash good if you fusion. have a oh yeah because what you would do so with flash fusion right you would you'd make like a kraken right and you'd go uh swing swing and then you'd flash fusion in battle phase using it and something on your field go into saber tooth special back kraken and then go for game that's so good a um especially kraken you have kraken and its materials in the field attack twice with kraken uh, say your opponent has uh, three monsters in the field, use Kraken's effect for one. Attack twice with Kraken, and then attack with the materials. Play Flash Fusion, create a saber tooth, bring back Kraken. Not only can you use spec it again, but also you can attack um, with it again twice. That was really good, so actually. That's really nice. That was a good strat in Fluffle back then, not just for me. Um, just a one of two Flash copies fusion. of Fright for Fusion. Never run three, or in my opinion. Because I mean, it yeah. gets way too cloggy. I at recently points. cut it to one. And also, so. it can, it's only cards from your field or from your graveyard. You guys graveyard. should totally check out my last level deck profile, uh, by the way. You do have to banish it's them. So different. Yeah, it's a really nice card. Like, it's actually the quality is so fucking um, crazy. Dog, please back off. Oh, my dog was fucking messing uh, with me, dude. Copy of Instant Fusion. Oh, uh, I only have, one. That was my super rare Instant Fusion. Two, I keep one. wondering what I have. Like, what happened um, to that? Let you summon. I think I got rid of it at one point, and so I only had like. Did I? Did I just leave? You pay a thousand life points. <laughs> I didn't uh, edit that out or anything. Sheep, uh, and then use Polly or what? something of the like. Um, sheep oh would, normally God. wouldn't be able to attack yeah, and so also like shorter than phase that I bought online uh, because that I've been of instant using. fusion. But the, the other night at locals, I picked up an, an ultra, which was nice. I love instant and then fusion. And summon sheep back, and it can attack, and it's a, and it is not destroyed during the end phase, which is really nice. Yeah, that, that was really good. A lot of people run two or even three, which I find a really bad idea to do. <laughs> yeah, but now but it's at one yeah, anyway. Yeah, my opinion, yeah, only run like instant then fusion, one, special sheep, maybe two um, if you really absolutely need it. And then it. use the sheep for fusion material uh, onto for the traps. Tooth, bring it back, and don't uh, Fluffle crane. Uh, never see anyone run this. Uh, it's when a fluffle monster you control Oof, that space up is destroyed by battle or an artifact. Uh, and sent to the graveyard. I can target one of the destroyed monsters, add it to my hand, and, and then draw one card. That's so bad. So, mostly, I, I used to run three of this, which is oh a really bad idea. God. But I, uh, run one just in case one of my fluffles is destroyed. Why would it be destroyed like by say battle? Just I make fright for dog, monsters. But I don't have sheep anymore in my deck. That's so And I add something stupid. else, and so they destroy dog. I can add dog back to my hand and draw one card. Oh my god. Uh, two copies of fright for March. Oh yeah, uh, March. Basically, Dark Bribe, except he has to target your Frightful Monster. Um, Not Solemn Judgment, guys. Dark Bribe. But with no cost, other than, um, no cost. And also, say it's a really bad Frightful Monster you no longer have use for. Um, so yeah, it's like bear Honestly, I wish we had or a retrain of wolf of this card, thinking though. you would win, but they like countered it, and so you don't need wolf anymore. Like this card could have been so good. Uh, like it, it's you can it's like an infinity barrier, like but only if they target Kraken, your guy, which is Daredevil sucks. or Chimera. 
uh, by attributing said Fright for Monster the that was targeted. Time, like, the best thing Fluffle could do uh, I've was only sit on, like, really a used that effect, here, like, two, which I did. times, but, uh, mostly just negates the Spoiler Trap for Monster effect and so that targets nice that a Fright for Monster good against, uh, Clear Wing. I have learned that over the time. It's really good against uh, Clear Wing. Uh, designer Fright Burp. Uh, I would run three, but I don't find it that necessary. If you target an edge gem for Fluffle in your graveyard, oh special summon it can be used as a Frightful Monster for a fusion summon. Uh, good for summoning Sabretooth, um, and I guess Chimera, if you absolutely want to summon Chimera, even though Chimera is Dude, What does Designer uh, Frightful do again? I know I just explained it on days. there, but... But, um, yeah. So I think I even admitted Chimera is not too good these traps. days. Designer Frightful. And then, um, so yeah. And oh, then finally, uh, two copies of Fusion Reserve, uh, not too recently, uh, and by that I mean like a few days ago, I took out reserve. one Fusion Reserve because it was getting really cloggy and really yeah, annoying. Yeah, bad. And you only really need two Super while bad. searching you're able to do anyway with this You deck. don't even need any. Uh, right. Simple, real Fusion Material. Um, I reveal a Fusion Monster, add a Material, and then you can add a Poly from your game. Yeah, but I don't think you can add the, like, the last effect a lot. Saber, and also I can add something like Dog. Saw Bear. My but hand. saw's bad, and then and that is it for like, the you main deck. Uh, got no side deck, so and then she ended up getting anyway. We go. So. I got, Finally, the uh, extra Jesus. Copy of bear. By the way, I have one copy of everything in here except for saber tooth. I have two copies of. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Um, Just in advance, like yeah, I got one of everything. Um. Just right, bear. Its effect isn't that good, especially with all Did the pendulums nowadays. It, but uh, it's my first fight for a holds a place in my heart. I played it yeah, for nostalgia, bro. I still have it too. That's, That's the a sad thing. That I uh, run it. But also, it was it was my like first fight for. Fright for. Wolf, my second ever fight for. You can tell from the damage Wolf. on the edge. Got it from my first fusion enforcer. My first pack. ever fight for that I pulled from a pack. You can tell um, from the damage. It's only mm -hmm. really good. This for one's OTKs. also super damaged. I learned because it's measly it's 2,000 like attack value. <laughs> Uh, is not enough oh for it God, dude, to poor wolf. It's seen stand days. up to uh, this is really sleep anything. Stuff until I, I was like the first now person to get sleeves. And hush. Actually, that was the first until pack of sleeves I bought. freaking barking. Uh, like the it's store. Really annoying. These were white ultra pros, and I think uh, they were copy standard. Copy sheep. We should run like three. Like I said, I only got one copy of each. Um, the one sheep baby. Destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect. Uh, you can even nuke it. Uh, yourself against an opponent's stronger monster, some in the back. That it is gets true. 800 more attacks, so that's really nice. And so uh, you can do a lot of. Uh, you can get sheep really high up. Especially if you summon uh, two Sabertooths and a Tiger. That is. Um, two Sabertooths so and a Tiger. So Why would you need a sheep? Tiger then? And sheep. That is. 2,000 boost. Three, so six, sheep would be at 4,000 already, and then you can like yep, nuke it boost. against any monster. Like, if you had it on the field before and had it nuked against any other monster, that's basically an immediate take now for something like that. Zark. Honestly, Sheep was the only reason Fluffle was ever rode uh, back during a zoo for Copy a tiger. Dryden, lol. Um, normally you should run three, uh, you, you, can, you can only control one anyway. You should run But, uh, three, literally, honey. it's a no, field nuke. Uh, you can destroy a back one. row, pendulums, which is kind of the back row now in the Link format. Pendulums, um, as well kind of back row now because of Link format. And, uh, all you really need is Edge of Sabres and then any amount of Fluffle monsters. Uh, and oh. the amount de um, you fusion summon with it depends on how many cards you destroy. So yeah, really good card right there. I and also, all Fright for monsters gain three hundred attack for each Fright for and Fluffle you control. God, there's so much barking for my dogs in this uh, video, dude. Fright for Leo. How many people run him nowadays? Because of Kraken is a lot better of a choice. But I like Leo because mm, yeah. he can destroy Kraken pesky high attack him. monsters if your opponent has no protection for him. And deal damage equal to the attack. It, the only downside is that it can't attack you. This card can't attack directly yeah, this turn. Just, that it's turn. just bad cracking, guys. Like, um, copy of Chimera. Chimera is not that good at all now because you need to send the monster to the graveyard. It's like it's like the same problem with the bear. Um, I mean, yeah. But then again, I if you attack with Chimera it, it's now, like though. sheep. It's very pretty. But it cannot act activate cards and effects I wish uh, it was when good. it's attacking. Yeah, I really, really use Chimera as a last resort if I have like three Frightfurs in my graveyard and a Frightfur fusion in my hand. So, not much reason to run Chimera. Correct. You, I mean, you can use that as the last resort. Copy of Daredevil. Uh, 3,000 beat, their highest attack of any Daredevil Frightfur. Daredevil wasn't bad back then. Uh, deals 1,000 burn damage if you destroy like, a monster, it, it just and then once destroyed, you burn your opponent for 500 for each Frightfur in your graveyard, so it's an automatic 500. 
um, like when genuinely, he's destroyed. I, I got so many cheese games and with Daredevil. So, and all you really need is an edge imp and a fluff also. He's 3k, so beat over summoner, deal regular battle damage, another and another summoner who has the and exact opposite with, like, stats of Daredevil. Something else, then Brecken, uh, for more. really good card when it came out. I was so over the wall screaming when I got it because how good it is. Yeah, because I stole the uh, once per turn, you can target a monster, your opponent controls, uh, with it face up or face down, and it doesn't destroy it, it sends it automatically to the graveyard, so if it's a pendulum, you send it to the graveyard, not the edge of the deck. So uh, but then the only downside is this card can't attack directly. I don't think so. Um, this card can attack twice during each battle phase. And yeah, uh, 2200 is nothing to, to uh, laugh at that much. But if you boost it up with some other cards, it's uh, really a force to be reckoned with. True. Kraken and, is uh, very once scary. per turn, at the end of the battle phase of this card battle, you can change it to defense position. 3000 defense becomes, wall. Better Dante. So that's really good. Literally just and better Dante. the final thing is two copies of Sabretooth. Uh, 400 attack baby. boost for all of your fright first. Oh, it's that's not the new for each one, ratio. like Tiger, but then it would be I wanted broken three so if, badly and I played if it was. So long. Uh, you can special summon the fright fur that you use to summon it, or any fright fur that's in your graveyard when you summon this. And uh, still my favorite really part of card, this card, like, you summon genuinely. it with three or more materials, which I nearly almost 99.9% of the time always end up doing. It is indestructible by a battle or card effects. And so that Honestly, is really, that really stopped good. all of my friends from being able to get rid so, of it. Um, Outside of that is it for my level deck profile. And flipping it face I down, like, really hope you all enjoyed it. I really enjoy uh, making this video. Wait, and also, I, I enjoy playing this deck. Uh, as said before, when there was my no main, rank fours in the main. And extra. as seen in the Odd Eyes um, Performa Pal, or actually, no, the Odd Eyes deck uh, versus my Fluffle deck. As the very first like, video of this channel. I was talking about, oh, you can go into a so, rank 4 um, with this. I don't even play any rank 4s. Please tell me what you uh, thought about this deck profile in the comments or in just about the deck in general. This deck uh, profile like I said, it's not too is complete yet. Terrible. But uh, once again, it's a, it's a force to be reckoned with. It is because not. It's cool. Yeah, All school. of my friends feel the need to team up against me to go when I go against it, except and I still for won. Uh, Chris. Because um, he's probably one of my toughest matches to go against when he's uh, not cheating <laughs> or being a baby about the rules. Oh my god. So, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you in the next one. He's probably my toughest opponent when he isn't cheating or being a baby about the rules. Oh my god, dude, that's so funny. I gotta show this to Chris. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh yeah, he got second place at uh, our other locals last night, so I'm proud of him for that with pure Drytron. He beat regular Drytron and Tri-Brigade and shit and Dino. I'm so confused how he did that, but I gotta show this to him. But wow, dude, that is kind of hilarious. That This video is so bad. Like, some of my takes are so... I mean... Every other uh, YouTuber that's reacted to their first deck profile, right? They're always just like, oh, how, oh my god, that was such a bad take. Why would I only run this amount of this, right? But, like, this was just so fucking hilarious. Because you can tell the difference between a school meta and, like, an actual competitive meta. I would run three designer fright for... <laughs> you should run th two or three owl guys. Oh, that was so stupid. But I mean, I can't really blame myself. I was in 8th grade, and it's really funny to see how far I've come along, especially with this deck now. Because while it's not my main powerhouse of a deck like it was back then, uh, that's Dino. But uh, this is one of my favorite decks of all time still. I'm so glad I can still actually keep up relatively with the meta. It actually has a really good Drytron matchup, believe it or not. What you do is you use your... Uh, Scythe Penguin on activation of Meteonis Drytron, and uh, you summon your whale, and then you, like, when they summon Ultimateness, you go chain one whale, chain two, um, penguin, so they can negate the penguin with the Ultimateness, but you're, they're gonna lose the Ultimateness regardless, which, absolutely hilarious, just, I think I pulled it off once. <laughs> it, it's very hard to pull off, uh, funnily enough, but it is, it's one of its best matchups because of that. And, uh, this was way before Fright for Patchwork even came out. This was literally, this was almost a year before we got Fright for Patchwork. And I remember I was complaining about not having it for, like, ever before that. I still have proxies of the card from when I wanted to play proxies at this time, and which is crazy. But now, we have Patchwork. As an Ultra, too, I remember when this card was a fucking rare and I wanted to vomit. 
Fucking soul fusion, dude. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for my reaction. Let me know what you think about this dog shit deck profile in the comments below. Um, again, you should probably check out my more recent one if you want to see an actually good and uh, better production value version of this deck profile and not 144p potato out in remote Alaska or anything like that. Um, but yeah, until then, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please should hit the like button as well as put this video and the channel in YouTube recommended. And if you really liked it and you want to see more content like this, like the rest of my discussion videos, deck profiles, live duels, all that sort of stuff, perhaps consider subscribing because we're on our way to a thousand subscribers by next May. But once again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. This is Aurora, signing off.